How you doing guys? Today I'm working on one of the Kohler engines that I picked up uh, over one of the weekends and this one in particular had a broken exhaust port and you can see that it's it's torn back pretty far almost to the point where it's non-usable but when you look at this engine I mean the piston is perfect I mean there's absolutely I'm just gonna crank this down a little bit I mean there's really there it's just glazed but I mean it's this is one of the nicest bores I've seen in a long time. The valves are real nice, so I really want to try to save this. And what I'm going to do, if you notice, um, well, before you notice, what I'm going to do is I got this three-quarter to half-inch black iron bushing. And I'm going to basically install it in this port to the point where it'll never come out. Now you say, well, Vin, um, you know, that's a three-quarter inch port, and you're going to cut it down to a half an inch. Really... Um, the K90s had a half inch port and if we look inside this motor itself you can see it's actually a half inch port um, Kohler just bored it out enough so they can get a three quarter inch piece in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all these threads and then I'm going to lubricate these and I'm going to this does screw in but I'm going to see if I can screw it in far enough so it'll go just inside this brake and then from there, I'll have hopefully a set of three uh, half inch uh, pipe thread so we can go ahead and install an exhaust. So I hit the uh, threads of the block with the wire brush, clean those up. I got the, this is just finger tight to this point and we just have, I just have a little bit more to go. So what I'm gonna do is I got the file and I found that there's a lot of burrs on this uh, bushing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean those, uh, th those burrs up clean up anything that I see. I might even file the first couple, me, I don't even know. I might just lightly file the, the uh, threads down so I can just finger tighten it in a little bit more. Then at that point, I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and lubricate the threads to see if, if that'll help and I can get it a little bit deeper. I lubricated the threads with a little bit of WD-40 and you can see we're already entering into the block if i look if we look down inside if i shine the light in there you can see that the inside of the bushing is going to line up just fine with the uh back side of the port so this is probably going to work i don't want to screw it oops i don't want to screw it down real tight yet i'm going to pull it back out and i'm going to clean it all up really really good and i think what i'll do is i'll actually red loctite this thing into place one i'll lubricate clean it all with with uh, brake cleaner make sure it's good and clean and then I'm going to go ahead and screw this in with a bunch of red Loctite and let that cure and <laughs> I think we could call that fixed all right you can see how much red Loctite I have <laughs> it's, it's oozing out everywhere I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get the hacksaw and I'm going to actually cut this uh, nut it's it's as tight as it can possibly go in that and it is pretty much all the way to the back. Um, it just, it's like maybe, I think it only has like maybe two threads, um, not, not, you know, from the back of the bushing to the, to the back of the port where they stopped the machining it. So I'm gonna go ahead, just make sure this is super tight and then I'm just gonna flush cut this off, file it down and essentially, I think that port will be fixed. And there it is. I was going to, like I said, I was thinking about cutting this off, but then I stopped myself because this is a tapered thread. So I really don't want to cut that this much of the bushing off because the threads are going to be tighter on the inside than they are on the outside because it is a pipe thread. So I said to myself, that would be bad. So I stopped myself before I ruined it. But as you can see, that red Loctite is setting up. And this thing, <laughs> I tried to get it. I did try to, I wanted to adjust it. So it was, you know, the the point wasn't in the, in the up position. I wanted to make it. Man, that thing is tight already. So that stuff is setting up good. And that's going to make this 100%. So some, at some point on the channel, I'll clean this engine up. Um, I will go through my parts bin and get uh, a mag bar, a coil. I mean, I got flywheel. I got two flywheels, so one of the flywheels will go on this, 
engine. So we'll clean this all up. We're not going to rebuild it. We'll just clean it all up. We'll put it together and see how it runs. Um, the carburetor with the broken screw in it. Let me go get that. I want to show you something. The carburetor in the center here. Um, this is the one that had the broken screw in. I was able to extract the screw and save the threads. Um, highly impressed with myself. That does not usually work out quite as good as that did. So this number 13 carburetor, it's back in service with a little with a cleaning and maybe a uh, rebuild kit, some new gaskets. Uh, this was the carburetor that was on that motor right there. It's in real good shape, just needs to be cleaned. So we got a carburetor there. This is actually the carburetor that came from the three into one Kohler project that was completely rusted shut. Um, I mean, I was able to get it to all to actuate. Everything is real good. I think this is actually a good usable carburetor. Um, it may be on the uh, grab bag Kohler. So one of these carburetors is going to go on the grab bag Kohler. Um, I just have I haven't gotten to that point. The video for you know the video of going over all the parts is coming up. So if you're looking forward to the grab bag Kohler, um, you know. It's, it's going to be coming up very shortly. Well, hopefully um, hopefully you found it interesting. Uh, like, share, and subscribe as always. Ring the bell if you could, so that way my next video comes up and get notified. Until the next hardcore <laughs> project, you have a great day. Thanks.